Hi guys, this is Simon Sage from Into Mobile. We're taking a look at the BlackBerry Curve 9380. It's recently announced by RIM and uh, coming soon to TELUS here in Canada, I believe for $50 on contract. It'll look uh, fairly similar to the BlackBerry Torch 9850 and 9860 that came out over the summer. It's uh, one of the uh, first all touchscreen BlackBerrys to come out since the storm was RIM's first foray into uh, the touchscreen world. So just to walk through the hardware of the BlackBerry Curve 9380 really, really quick here. Down here you'll notice that the buttons are actually flush with the front screen. Uh, th this is a stylistic difference from the uh, the higher end uh, BlackBerry Torch 9850 and 9860. Personally I find it, I find it looks really good. It's uh, something RIM has done for the Curve 3G as well as the Storm 2. Over on this side, we've got a uh, micro USB slot. On the back, we've just got this uh, polished plastic finish here and the 5 megapixel uh, eat off camera with LED flash. Up top, we have the single lock key along with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on this side, we have the freshly redesigned uh, volume control keys. They're a little bit tricky to make out there, but uh, it's basically just a really slim sliver and a little uh, nub in between for pause play. Uh, there's also a convenience key down here that's by default set to uh, the camera controls. Down at the bottom we don't really have uh, e even a hole for the microphone. Presumably it's uh, tucked in underneath the front face. Uh, this is going to be a little more entry level than, than the 9850. The processor is bumped down to 800 megahertz, uh, down from 1 gigahertz on the uh, on the torch. Uh, the camera is 5 megapixels, but it's only enhanced depth of field, so no autofocus there. That generally translates to less than optimal close-ups. Um, the screen size is also down to uh, 3.2 inches uh, rather than I think. Uh, 3.7 inches on the 9850 uh, and the resolution is 480 by 360. So the, the the display is actually pretty much identical to the Torch 9800 that launched last summer. Um, besides that, uh, you'll notice that the user interface here is pretty similar to all the other uh, BlackBerry 7 devices that, that have launched since this summer. We've got uh, different panes here that you can customize. You can label some as favorites. Uh, you can also manage which panes show up. So uh, you can uh, you, you can have downloaded applications show up here, uh, and also have an automatically generated frequent tab. So your most used your most used apps will show up there. I usually turn it off just because there tends to be a lot of overlap with the other tabs here. There's also universal search up here. And uh, this is the first look at the keyboard here. This is using RIM's uh, old school sure type layout, but you, you can change that to a uh, full keyboard here if you like. It's a little bit more cramped. Uh, or you can go into landscape here. Um, one little nitpick that I had had with the 9850 and 9860 was that just above this top row there, were, there was a, a button uh, to hide the whole keyboard. So sometimes when you would type you would accidentally hide the keyboard. Apparently th th there's an option to turn that off so that's, that's making typing a little bit better. Um, we can show you how universal search here works real quick. Uh, let's actually look up. So universal search will pull up uh, details from or uh, search results from all over the place, uh, including your contacts, uh, emails, calendar items, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and if there is information that isn't stored locally here, you can also extend the search out to uh, other services. You can see a Slacker and Point are just a couple of third-party applications that have plugged into that framework. Uh, there's, there's also a little bit of voice recognition here, so Pizza, Ottawa. And uh, I find hitting done isn't particularly great because most of the time you want to be doing this hands-free, but it does work relatively well. Um, you could bust open the browser real quick here. No flash support, but it is a WebKit browser. Uh, show you what Intu Mobile looks like. Uh, I, I find the device does chunk along a little bit on the busier pages, um, but. Uh, once RIM switches over to their new platform, BBX, sometime next year, they will have full flash support. Although Adobe is, is going to be paring back its, its mobile efforts, uh, they're, uh, they're more focused on providing the tools to app developers as well as supporting HTML5. 
Uh, so th this is our mobile set, but we can we can switch over to desktop here just to see how well the uh, Curve uh, 8380. I keep I, I keep getting mixed up on the uh, on the model number here. It is the Curve 9380. Sorry. So um, we are on HSPA on the Rogers network right now. Uh, taking a little, little while to get in there. We got five bars of uh, reception here. Uh, we got full pinch to zoom. Works all right. Uh, aside from the browser, the uh, BlackBerry 9380 also has near field communications. That is uh, a little antenna built into the battery door that will eventually be used for a whole bunch of different things. So. Uh, one thing that Rim was showing off recently was BlackBerry Tag. So basically, you, you just bump the back of, uh, of two black uh, of two NFC enabled Blackberries together, and you could transfer contacts, pictures, um, uh, just about anything, documents. Um, and they're also going to allow third-party applications to uh, plug in there too. So uh, it's a, it's an interesting uh, mechanism, if not. Uh, not quite fully realized just yet. Contactless payments are also really huge uh, so that you'll be able to use it in stuff like PayPass when you're buying groceries. Um, anyway, uh, I've only had maybe three or four days to really play around with this, but uh, so far for an entry-level phone, I, I'm finding it very responsive. The only real lag is uh, is when you're installing applications from a BlackBerry App World, uh, and at that point you basically just have to let the phone do its thing and, uh, and not touch it. But uh, as always, BlackBerry is uh, is a pretty good uh, messaging client. Uh, all of you, you, you compile on a bunch of different email accounts. Your social networks show up here: Google Talk, Facebook. Um, although, if you're a heavy-duty messenger, you might prefer a BlackBerry with a physical keyboard. I've definitely found that even using the uh, the, the predictive Sure Type keyboard here, uh, it's it, it, it can be a pain. Um, typing in landscape with the full keyboard is a little bit better, but then you've got a lot less screen real estate to work with. Anyway, feel free to swing by into mobile.com for our full review of the BlackBerry Curve 9380.